let's see what we get from the reigning champion now. His repayment of faith in practice three yesterday morning after they rebuilt this car was to make it the fastest car out there, which was an incredible athletic performance to go out after having hit that wall so hard. He's nicely through one, two, and three. Very stable under brakes into four. Got through Ford with really good mid-corner speed, Neil. Sacrifices the exit of five a little bit to get himself across the road for turn in for turn six. He's neck and neck. He's about eight hundredths of a second down on Dave Reynolds at the first sector. But right in the game. So he is absolutely at it here. Approaching turn eight. This is the one that bit Friday. Nice job coming up to the second timing reference now. So he's very close to David Reynolds. Chas Mostert's done the best time that we've seen so far, and he's quite close to that as well in the middle sector. I don't reckon it's going to be a pole, but it's somewhere up at the sharp end. It certainly is. A very good quality lap, hasn't it? Not a mistake yet. He's actually made some time at turn 11. Can he get it stopped? He's made some mistakes here through the course of the weekend. He gets it turned in. Minimise the wheel spin. He might have done this with a very good end to the lap. Can he knock oh, Reynolds off? He that. does with a 19.59. Wow. That came on in the third sector big time. That is a beautiful job. Looking at the middle sectors, I didn't think it was going to be enough. But that's a mighty job. G did a good job in that third sector, didn't he? To be able to get the thing stopped, and you made the point He's been complaining about not having the thing to his satisfaction in the final corner. Great super slow-mo replay of it here at one and two. So that's a great job by Jamie Wincup. And beautifully positioned for the whole lap, wasn't it? It's very accurate. We both said when he got through here, because this is the spot that caught him out in qualifying yesterday. And have a look at the slide and the beautiful car control right out to the fence. No margin for error and great sense of where the trajectory of the car is going to land you and how much road you can use. Next up, his teammate Shane Van Gisbergen, car number 97. So at the moment on the Armour All Provisional Pole, Jamie Wincup. That might shuffle his pole tally, by the way, onto 76. We'll see. We're about to get more of the answer. Van Gisbergen and McLaughlin to come. Shane's turn. Supreme performance yesterday to grab the Armour All Pole for the first race, backed it up with a win. Exactly what he did in 2017, 150 points to his credit. Threw some weight off over the summer period and then battled in the early part of the weekend, being comfortable in the car because he was moving too much in the seat. Ended up having some problems with his right leg, losing feeling and therefore breaking sensitivity. He overcame that in the perfect way yesterday. What do the numbers look like when he gets to the first reference? The best numbers that we've seen. Van Gisbergen is an operator when it comes to this racetrack. He's stick to one's been unbelievable all weekend, hasn't it? So let's just have a look at turn eight. Watch how much road he uses on the entry. Wider than anybody. Gave the a kiss on the inside there. Well, can he get stopped? Run through turn one and two was yep. the really impressive feature yesterday. The way he gets at this racetrack is somewhat unique. So purple times two. So he owns the first and second sectors. He's on his way towards being at the top of the tree here. He's got 19 armor all poles to his credit. 13, the second last corner lands it well. It just locked a little bit on the run into the final corner. This is going to challenge his teammates time of a 19.5. Very fast times. What's Van Gidbergen got? Oh, it's, it's better. Oh, yeah. 0.0084. Unbelievable. 84 ten thousandths of a second. What an incredible lap. Great commitment again from Van Gisbergen. Sensational. Shane Muxcape, that was a sensational lap. Congratulations. Oh, I struggled to hear you, but yeah, a really good. Lap, mate. Thank you. Yeah, really good. We'll see what Scotty does, but. It's pretty cool, as you know, when you do the same time in the shootout. Car feels nice. The team have all done an awesome job with these cars, so see what Scotty does, but looking forward to the race. Well done. Thanks. Shane Van Gisbergen, not only is it a good time, it's uh, three tenths faster than he achieved in quali. That's a number, isn't it? Certainly is. <laughs> How's that between these two? And they're rubbing their hands together. The great thing about this is the rivalry 
and what it does to both teams, both guys in that team. It just energizes them, doesn't it? Now, what has Scott McLaughlin got for us? 16 Arbor All Poles in 2017. In a career that's laced with handsome numbers when it comes to what he's achieved for these one lap blasts. Unbelievable performance for him so far with 33 of these things. Through one and two, that's the area that they concentrated on improving this car. He was the fastest qualifier this morning. He used a lot of curb then at turn four. In fact, it looked like it delayed him getting on the throttle coming out of four. It did, it ran a little bit wide and he had to use the exit curb just to contain the slide of the car. So he's slightly down. He's, at, he's down by one tenth, but that, given how fast he is through turn eight, he's been the fastest guy all weekend through here. This is where he'll make some ground back up. He was kicking himself yesterday about not doing a good enough job through one and two. He's been fully committed so far today. His qualifying performance yep. earlier was amazing. And look at that number in the middle sector. He had trouble stopping it at nine. It pinched the rear brake at just the wrong moment. But this is going to be very close. He's making rapid cockpit adjustments. Turn 11, throws it up on the curb. No space on the right. Fully committed into the second last quarter now. It's going to be line ball when he gets here. Van Gisbergen's watching it pinch the rear brake again, just ever so slightly. Shane Van Gisbergen's time is a 1 minute 19.5. What has Scotty got for him? It's not enough, it's P3. Shane's got the job done for Arboral. Good job, P3. Good job, P3. Good job, P3. Good job. Two from two.